Hi, this is Helena, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing five high value attitudes or mindsets that will attract the man you want and bring him closer than ever, even if he's pulled away or acting a little distant right now. I recently did a poll over in the community tab here on my YouTube channel, and this is the number one thing you guys said you wanted to learn more about. And I'm so happy to be talking about this with you today because this is really some of the most important information I could ever share with you when it comes to having that relationship you've always wanted. The truth is I could give you the perfect thing to say or do in a specific moment, but unless you have the foundation of these mindsets, you're never going to get permanent lasting results. So I'm really excited to dive into this topic. But before I get started, if you're new to my channel, click the button to subscribe to get all of my latest videos on how to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted. So the first mindset or attitude that will get a man's energy coming back towards you again or bring your man closer than ever is trusting that the right man will want to pursue you and want to have that close connected relationship with you. Basically just knowing and trusting that the right man for you is not going to risk losing you or jeopardize his opportunity to be with you by dropping out of your life or pulling away without warning and not coming back or being super hot and cold or inconsistent. If a man is breadcrumbing you or displaying any kind of back and forth behavior, usually it's a huge sign that he's just can't possibly be the right man for you, in my opinion. So it's really important. It's such an attractive mindset or attitude to just trust that the right guy is not going to risk, you know, letting you slip through his fingers. He's going to pursue you and keep moving that relationship forward. It's so, so important. That's kind of for like more of the early stages of dating. If you're in a relationship, I'd really want to encourage you to trust in your partner's love for you. That's just a really confident mindset to embody that even if he's stressed out or going through something and he is withdrawing emotionally just a little bit, trusting and being confident in his love for you can get his energy coming back towards you again. I've just seen that happen over and over and over. Now, of course, if a man is pulling away or acting distant because he's punishing you or he's doing this constantly and it just doesn't feel good, clearly that's not a healthy situation. That's not the kind of guy I want you to be with, right? So this is for situations where a guy's energy is generally coming towards you. He's a good guy. He seems to want to meet your needs and make you happy. Trusting in his interest or in his love for you or just trusting that the right man will want to keep pursuing you and keep showing up for you if you're single and dating. So that's the first one. The second one is kind of similar and that is simply that effort is attractive. Everyone write that down or type it into the comment section or put it on a post-it and stick it on your mirror or type it into your phone where you can see it every day. Effort is attractive. I keep hearing from women who feel this sense of longing for a man whose energy is just not coming towards her right now, or even a man who's just constantly pulling away from her and he, she just feels slippery, like she can't quite get a grip. And that's clearly a sign to me or really to anyone else looking objectively at the situation that he just can't possibly be the right one for you. So effort is attractive. I always say that you wanna hook up your feelings of attraction and chemistry with a man's masculine action towards you. So if he is showing up and being consistent and he's reliable and dependable, that's fantastic. You want to respond to him and show up as well and be open and receptive. If that's not happening and a man isn't putting in as much effort as he used to, rather than leaning forward and throwing all your energy out towards him and obsessing and overthinking or blaming yourself, wondering what you may have done wrong, if you just simply come back to this attitude or mindset that effort is attractive, you'll start to get bored truly and lose interest in any man who's not stepping up and showing up powerfully for you, no matter where you're at in your love life. So important, I just want every woman in the world to embody that mindset or really all of these, especially number five. So make sure to stay to the end of this video to get that one. So the third mindset or attitude that really will bring that man closer than ever, even if he's acting a little distant or pulling away right now is the fact that your self-esteem or your mood or just the way you feel about yourself or the world or the men that are out there is not tied 
so closely to what this one specific man is doing or not doing. This is so important. Again, I can't tell you how many women I hear from where the way they feel about themselves and the world is so tied to what a man's doing or not doing. So he comes towards her and he's pursuing her. She feels wonderful. He pulls away and now all of a sudden she feels terrible and she loses hope that she's ever going to you know, get that relationship she wants. And it's just this roller coaster, this up and down, back and forth, where what I want you to do is feel so steady and so secure within yourself and go back to that first attitude, right? Trusting that the right man will absolutely want to be with you and move things forward without all of this prompting and convincing and pushing on your end. So you feel good about yourself no matter what a man is doing or not doing. You're trusting that things are always working out for you. And that's actually the fourth attitude or mindset. Things are always working out for you. Everything is always working out for you and you're gonna be okay no matter what. If this guy drops off or if he's pulled away, he doesn't come back, he just can't possibly be the right one for you. That means that there is another even better match for you right around the corner. In fact, there are several hundreds of amazing potential men around you. But what happens is we get so focused on this one man and when he's not doing what we were hoping he would do, we feel terrible and we focus even harder on him and we start to develop these beliefs that all men are flaky or no men want to commit. And it's just completely not true. It's just that's the level we're engaging on. So if you're feeling attached to a man who's emotionally unavailable or he's just not quite stepping up or doing the job or showing up for you, we tend to think like this is all there is. And that keeps us even more stuck on this original guy because we think there's nothing better out there for us. And that's one of the number one things I want to turn around. Just trusting and knowing that things are always working out for you. And if it doesn't work out with this one particular man, as difficult and painful as that is, there's just that means that there's a better match for you right around the corner. I've seen that happen over and over again in every woman I've ever worked with. I've certainly experienced that in my own life, of course, and I hear from all the amazing women in my community every day. In fact, type that into the comment section too. If you've let go of a man who you were feeling super attached to, only to find out that there was an amazing, you know, even better match for you right around the corner. I know that that is an experience I hear from so many women out there. So I'd love to hear from you. And it's just so inspiring for all of the women who were stuck on that unavailable guy to hear your stories. It's It just warms my heart. It makes me so happy. So that uh, that's number four. Number five is one of the most important things I could really ever share with anyone. And that is being willing to walk away. It's such an attractive, magnetic quality. Not that you're this ice queen and ignoring a man and, you know, telling him like it is. I keep getting questions from women who say, you know, should I tell him that I, I'm about to walk away or I'm willing to walk away? And of course you can, but the truth is that he's going to be able to feel it. If you truly are willing to walk away, if a man is not treating you right or not showing up consistently for you, a man can feel that. Just like if you're starting to get bored or lose interest because he's not putting in enough effort, you don't really have to tell him that if you're truly bored or willing to walk away, a man's going to feel that in your energy and your vibe. And if he is truly right for you, that's going to get his energy coming back towards you so quickly. I know you've experienced that before, right? Let me know down below in the comment section. So let me recap these five. These are so crucial. I just want every woman out there to embody these attitudes and really just trust and know in their own value so that you just don't engage with men who don't show up as a mirror for the love and consistency and commitment they have for themselves. It's so important. I'm just reading off my notes here, by the way. Are you guys still liking these unedited vid videos? Let me know in the comments, or would you like me to edit them? Are you wanting more polished videos? I've been getting a lot of feedback that you guys are liking these unedited ones. So um, thanks for sticking with me, and I'm just gonna um, recap these for you. Number one is trusting that the right man will pursue you and show up for you, and he's not going to jeopardize letting you slip away, or he's not going to risk 
losing you truly if he's the right man for you. Number two, effort is attractive. So important. Everyone just write that down and say it to yourself over and over and over. Effort is attractive, which means that if a man is not putting in effort, you're going to get bored and lose interest very quickly. And if you're already doing that, you're you're so on the right track. I, I've been hearing from a lot of women who are telling me they're starting to truly lose interest in a man who's not stepping up. Um, the next one is your self-esteem or your mood or how you feel about the world and the kind of men that are out there is not tied to what this one man is doing or not doing. So important. You don't want to start developing beliefs about all men because that's just simply not true. There are so many amazing men out there who would be thrilled to just wake up every morning next to you and be loyal and devoted to you forever. And you really want to embody that mindset and not get so um, addicted to the roller coaster of the ego loves a roller coaster, right? So if a man is not doing what you were hoping he would do, you don't want to make that mean something about yourself or the kind of men that are out there. So important. Um, number four is that things are always working out for you. Everything's always working out for you. So that means if things don't work out with this one particular man, there's a better match for you right around the corner, several better matches for you. That is so crucially important. And that brings me to number five, and that is being willing to walk away. If this man is not going to step up and meet your needs and honor your boundaries, you're going to walk away because you're embodying all of these other mindsets and attitudes. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comments and any other feedback or video topic suggestions. I always love hearing from you. And if you're ready to attract the man you want and inspire his love and devotion and commitment, go check out my three keys to attract the man you want report and audio training totally free on my website, helenaheartcoaching.com. I'll post a link to that in the description right below this video. I hope this was helpful. Love hearing from you and I will see you next time.